What is up, YouTube? This is Trainer Caller, and that's right, I'm your coach of ESF Swamperts, and this week is week five for the ILL, the Indigo League of Legends. This week, your Swamperts are taking on the Detroit Darkrai and Eric. So, going into this, I brought... Well, let's go over my opponent's team real quick. He had access to, um, William Sakai. He had access to Con Kelger. He had access to Mega Steelers for his Mega. Uh, Double Dragons, as we see there. Hasteris and High Dragon. And of course, we see Raiko there as well. So, how do we go into this battle? How do we do it? Uh, well, we brought a weird uh, Sableye set designed to burn things and to punch a few holes with Shadow Ball just to put some offensive pressure going there. A defensive Registeel with um, Thunder Wave and Stealth Rock. We're bringing back Extreme Fire, my Dragon Dancing Charizard X. A Samurai with Hydro Cannon which is interesting because nobody uses that. And then Assault Fast Triperior and an Offensive Forges because of the amount of dragons and all of that going on there. So that's my game plan. I'm going to leave out with my uh, Sableye because I figure he might actually start out with a Mega Steelix to get up those Stealth Rocks. But he actually starts off with Whimsicott. And that's an issue because, well, Evelyn, the uh, Sableye, is weak to Moon Blast, the fairy type move. So we go into Rosa here, Rosa the Forges. He actually goes with a Stun Spore, paralyzing my Rosa here, which isn't bad. I was more worried about the quadruple weakness of Moon Blast coming my way. I'm going to go with a Moon Blast of my own here. I figured he might go into Steelix, but like I wanted the extra damage onto it. And I can go into Extreme Fire. Getting here safely, if he's going to set up Stealth Ox, I don't have any other way of getting rid of them. Uh, which, that sucks. But he actually goes with an Iron Head. That's A-OK -okay by me. I wanted to get in here safely, Mega Evolve, and go with a roost to restore my HP back so that I have some momentum on my side of the field. He brings in Raikou and the way he's using it, I figured it was scarfed, um, but it's, it's going to be revealed here. Yeah, so he's scarfed. Uh, he was actually expecting me to switch out into Rhyperior, expecting the electric type move. So I predicted him to predict that, so I stayed in and went with a flare blitz, and that's going to easily wipe out Raikou there. Now I question him going into Hasteris the way he does right here. I'm going to be faster because I'm a mega. He actually does go into Conkelder, and I'm like, alright, let's go with an outrage and do a lot of damage to it. And we do, it's a two hit KO, but I figure he might have Rock Punch, which of course that's priority, so I can't outspeed him on that next turn. I go into my shiny Samurai here. I actually have Air Slash on this Samurai, which is a rare move that you see on Samurai. I wanted to use it to surprise Kong Kelger, but he actually goes into High Dragon. Looking like one of the coolest shinies in the entire game. Well, not the entire game, but like, it's one of the coolest shinies out there. Um, I go into Regis Seal expecting a dragon to move or a U turn. And that sucks because he gets to go back into Con Kelger, guys. And you know what that means? He has Drain Punch. I do have speed, uh, which is a little bit weird because, you know, Kong Kelger might have been faster. I don't know. I should probably go back and look at the speed tier for Kong Kelger and Registeel. 
I mean, I don't have any speed investments. So that might be that might be why. So like I said, he has a drain punch, and that really sucks because he gets to restore his HP, and I can go. I'm forced to go back into Rosa to frighten him. Um, even if he has poison jab, it might not kill me because I have a lot of uh, defense EVs to survive that kind of hit. And uh, fortunately, I don't get paralyzed. I went through this entire time without getting paralyzed, and that's really awesome. He goes with a reach C. Um, not sure why. It will come in handy somewhat. I'm not really sure. It's, it's hard to tell what his plan there was because all he had to do is go back into Steelist and click Iron Head and that's going to easily wipe out Rosa because it's super effective. So I'm not really sure why he went from a Leech Seed there. He really should have gone with a Moon Blast there. We get to show off Hydro Cannon. The, down, the downside of all that is I have to charge for a turn. Um, which is bad, but this particular Samurai is Focus Sash, which means I will definitely survive any one hit, regardless if he's going to set up a Sword Stance right here. So, yep, I have to recharge. I question him going with an Earthquake here. He could have just gone with an Outrage. Um, my Focus Sash doesn't activate because I didn't survive to 1 HP, only 6. Unfortunately for me, he has a Yakuberry, so uh, that sucks because I got a critical hit and I would definitely finish him off right there. So he finishes Samurai off there. Wow, that was such a great sentence, but you know. Uh, I get to burn him right here. That's the good thing about uh, Sableye because of his Prankster ability. Uh, he has uh, Prankster to go first if I don't use the attacking move. So we burn him and I get to recover to stall him out. And that's the only way for me to handle this because he's at neutral attack instead of plus two. And um, he will outspeed me if I go with an attacking move. So, my optimal play is to stay in here and stall. That's kind of what Sableye is here to do. And we definitely succeed on that. So we take out Hapsorus. So now, he is going to go into his High Dragon. Which, I believe it's... I don't know if it's Scarfed or what. Um, I go with a recover again so that way I can hopefully force him out because he's not really accomplishing anything so if he's gonna switch out which he does and that's fantastic I can recover again and then I can go with a couple of shadow balls and then I can uh, hopefully take him out with Sableye because my last remaining Pokemon is Rhyperior, and Rhyperior cannot take a Drain Punch. Well, he might, but then he can just outspeed me and knock me out with a Mock Punch. So, can I take these knockoffs? He does knock off my uh, item there, which you saw earlier. But now it's time to attack. Let's go to the Shadow Ball, and can I survive this knockoff? We hang on with 14 HP. If he locked me out, I would have been good game there because, like I said earlier, the Drain Punch and the Mock Punch. Okay, so Hydragon is here, and I misclick right here. I misclick there. Uh, not really sure why. I really should have gone with the Burn right there. I do go with a Will O Wisp, but you know, I misclick because I was actually battling at night. Not a good idea, but you know, it's okay. He does finish off Evelyn. You did a fantastic job this battle. So now we can go into Rhyperior, the same Rhyperior I used from last week. Assault Vest. Did, and we see that in action because holy crap, that did no damage. Well, it did something, but not as much as it would. But 
and we finish him off with a hammer arm. So that is going to be a really close 1-0 victory for the SF Swappers. We are 2-3, and three, hanging on to week 6, and we battle WMR, the Miami Infernape. So we might have to go on showdown for that next week there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe. I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day, trainers. Bye.